So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills are bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <laughs> <laughs> Spun yet tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like uh, 
Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and and the six. Hey, bonus say the time. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t t t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, little Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little, make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy. He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs>
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? But we don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. It's 
So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom to start pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah. It's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Send him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't... It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. And they're off. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive the Lost Heaven Circus? Son of a bitch! They're bunching up, and I think they're killing Some of these drivers are going to get this. They're calling the tape for getting straight in there today. Asshole! Aggressive driving from Angelo. Shit! Jesus! Reed and Wilson come back to the ranking. Now the end of Benaver and Angelo. Don't worry, folks. We have done this. Son of a bitch! bitch. Oh, shit! It's a tight pack as they fight for first. Jesus! The rough racing out there. Hopefully you kidding me? Son of a bitch! Tommy Angelo takes the lead. Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine?
Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for a mistake from Angelo. The leading drivers are on the final lap. Not long till it's all over, folks. Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Nah, but uh. Maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey. Great race, Anything Jim. for the Coletis. Well, That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? First time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. 
They'll start to try to clear us out before dark. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Bali any place? It came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Nothing like a party with the winnings in your pocket. Hey, I should go soon as I have to work, but not yet. Mama made that well easy to Tatami. When they started to start racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the for finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Don't know. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. Well, you enjoy yourself. She should show will time. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> Did real good today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. 
We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs>